Even though nothing is left of the school he attended since he was in the second grade. That was the gymnasium. Jason Aiken could show me exactly where he was when the tornado tore Plaza Towers Elementary apart. Right through here. And then our teacher would get onto us and yell us to get on the third tile. <laughs> you remember, this is where you're really supposed to be walking. Yes. Okay. Boy, that teacher really had you under control. Even now, you're walking where you're supposed to. This sixth grader was one to follow the rules. Except when the tornado hit. Instead of leaving the collapsed building, he stayed. Actually, I was more worried about getting the third graders and the younger kids out because they were going to live longer than me anyway, usually. Worried not about himself, even though the roof had collapsed on him, but about others, especially his twin brother, who's autistic. The first thing I wanted to react to was my brother because they said he was crying. He found him, dug him out, and made sure he got out of the building. But Jason still wouldn't leave. One of his friends had become too terrified to move. She climbed on top of the stuff because she was real scared and she was screaming, there's another one coming. I'm like, no, there's not. Because I looked up at the clouds, I'm like, yeah, no, not really. I saw it keep going that way. I'm what like, was she on top of? Oh, the roof. Well, what's left of the roof? So she had climbed on top, on top of the rubble? Yeah. And she didn't want to come down? Mm, mm Did you get her down? Yes, I had to talk her down. Literally had to talk her down. Jason says he really doesn't understand why he didn't feel scared. He just knew he needed to help. Something he wants to do again, if there's a next time. So are you glad your, uh, your dad's really thinking about getting a storm shelter now? Uh, kinda. Kinda? What do you mean kinda? Because if I'm in the storm shelter and it blocks me out, I can't help the people. That just bothers me that I can't help. Clay Loney reporting.